from Jeremy Corbyn, our, our parliamentary procedures expert, Joe Armitage, is still with us. So, you know, we've got a possible emergency summit in uh, Europe. We've got a, a definite vote on Monday. You've been hearing all the reaction. Uh, where do you think we are in this process? Well, I think it's contingent on the EU still, ultimately. Uh, but if they go for this longer extension up to January 31st, uh, then, as the government has outlined, it will try to pass the withdrawal agreement that it's agreed with the EU uh, by the middle of uh, November, or actually the 6th of November. Uh, if it can't do that, then we'll see on Monday whether or not they can get uh, an early election for the 12th of December. Uh, and if uh, the two-thirds majority is obtained in the Commons, then we'll have the election. But I think you know, one of the critical things is, actually, if the EU decides for a shorter extension into the middle of November, for example, that would present a really stark and clear choice to Parliament, back the deal or risk a no-deal Brexit. Because, of course, the Benn Act falls away. You can only fire it once. It can't be fired again. Uh, so if the Commons at that point doesn't back the Brexit deal uh, by November the 15th or whatever is agreed to uh, extend Article 50 up to, you have a no-deal Brexit. So I think the most important thing uh, is this election question tonight, uh, because it seems the Prime Minister, there was talk of a split in Downing Street as to whether to go for the election uh, or just go for uh, passing the Brexit deal. And it seems the election faction has won, uh, but it really depends on the position of the Labour Party. And you've seen over the course of tonight, it's not clear which side of the shadow cabinet is going to win this argument. Jeremy Corbyn seems to want uh, a general election, uh, but other members of the shadow cabinet who backed uh, Remain and who ardently want a second referendum don't appear to want one. Okay, 